Hi, my name's Pete from dancemidisamples.com and today we're going to take a look at a hot topic at the moment and that's installing 32-bit plugins in Logic 10. As some of you may know, Logic 10 only runs as a 64-bit application and this means that if you have any older plugins that haven't been updated to 64-bit or may never be updated, then you won't be able to use them in Logic 10 without using this or a similar technique. We're going to install two utilities, one called JBridge M and the other called Meta Plugin. These are going to help us run our 32-bit plugins in Logic 10. You'll find links to both in the description to this video. Demo versions of these apps are available to test so you don't need to buy the full versions. Once you've downloaded the JBridge package, the first thing to do is ensure that you've got some plugins in your VST folder to bridge to 64-bit. You'll find the standard OSX VST plugin folder locations in the description along with this video. You can see here that we're going to use Silent1, which is currently a really popular synth plugin. Again, you can find loads of presets for this synth on our website at dancemidisamples.com. I'm going to go ahead and launch the setup program for JBridge M, which you can see here. And we're going to be guided through the setup process. At that point, you're going to be asked to restart. So, agree to the terms and conditions, install the plugin, enter your password if you need one, and then continue with the installation. Now we've installed the JBridger M plugin, we can go ahead and launch the app. You'll find that under your applications menu, so I'm going to double click. Now we need to bridge 32-bit plugins, so we've selected those two here, and we're also going to choose which type of VST host we're going to use. Now, we're actually using Logic 10, which only accepts audio units, and this is where Meta Plugin comes in. So right now, we're going to say I'll be choosing a 64-bit host. You can now see that JBridger has scanned our VST folder, and it's picked up some plugins for us to bridge. These plugins are now bridged for us to use in Meta Plugin, so the next thing to do is to launch Logic 10. The next stage of the process is to install Meta Plugin. This will enable us to run Silent1 as a VST plugin inside of Logic 10. Now that JBridge has done its magic and converted our plugin into a 64 bit wrapped VST, we can go ahead and launch Logic 10 and add an instance of Meta Plugin. So if we open this up, we can right click on the main screen and load plugin and go to library audio plugins VST and choose our bridged folder and then select silent and you can see that silent has now popped up in our window for meta plugin the next job is to connect up our MIDI inputs to silent just by dragging and dropping our cables and then the audio outputs, so we've got left and right there, and we should be able to double click open Silent. Uh, I found that we have to register your copy of Silent for it to work. Uh, it may work for you with demo mode, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can make a sound. So I'm going to hit a note on my keyboard, and there we have a working copy. <laughs> of Silent 1 in Logic 10. Now it's also possible to automate parameters using Meta Plugin. So you see here we've got a boxes, we've got parameter 1. Now I'm going to choose Silent and then you'll see a list of supported parameters which we can now automate in Logic. Now that we've got Silent working and some automation parameters set up for cutoff we can go ahead and automate the cutoff in Logic. So if you press A, you'll see that the volume automation parameter drops down. You can now click this little arrow here and choose Meta Plugin Parameter 1, which we know is cutoff, and you can draw yourself a nice curve. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
So there we have it. It's not exactly the easiest method in the world, but it does work. And if you've just upgraded to Logic 10 and you want to use some of your old synths or plugins, this is definitely one of the best techniques to use.